Hello class, welcome. Today, we are going to be studying these four subjects. We have Dennis Daly, Flamingo, whoever this bald man is, and I, Bella. Now for your homework assignment, you are going to be designing this house, except every room is based on one of these four YouTubers. Did I give you trauma yet? Did I remind you of what school is like? This beautiful house behind me is about to get ruined. The interior is gonna be so bad. I'm low-key kind of proud of it. I'm going for a very beachy vibe recently, very light light colors. I'm bringing back the linen. It's a problem, guys. The interior, we have a kitchen area, the living room, and then upstairs, it's more of an open layout bedroom, and then a tiny, tiny bathroom. But hey, what gets the job done gets the job done. Nobody needs to know where you take a poop. So let's get to building, shall we? So for the living room, I thought Ibella would work best because she has some nice colors. Technically, her channel theme is like red and green, but that's also Creecraft's room. So we're just gonna go pink for her, okay? We can bend the rules a little bit. I'm sure she has nothing against the color pink. Actually, I'll ask her. Editor, remind me to send you proof that Bella has nothing against the color pink. I hate when this happens, when my bushes clip through the wall. I'm thinking the TV could go on this wall, maybe with some basic shapes. This is gonna sound a little stupid till it's done, okay? Everyone made fun of my YouTube career before I hit 100k, and now look at me. A failure, but hey, at least, at least I got somewhere. Boom! That looks good, am I right? <laughs> I feel like Bella would eat this hanging chair up. This just screams her name. I like this little corner too with the windows. It looks really nice. I think it's time we're due for some more plants. I don't think we've gotten a plant update in a very long time. Other than the succulents maybe a few years ago. So hey, new devs, please give us some more plants. And you know, if they don't give us more plants, we can tell them. That means they hate the earth and they're not trying to restore our oxygen. We can gaslight them. I hate how when you're building with carpets and you put like anything like this on top of them, it covers a lot of the legs and so it kind of just looks stupid now. Looks like I bought my coffee table from Shein or something. Let's get her some magazines. I feel like Bella would be on the cover of one of these. Oh, strong for summer, muscle season. Yes, I know, I go to the gym. <laughs> I feel kind of bad at building today. I don't know what it is, but there's just something about this that I don't really like. I'm lazy, so we'll moving on. Oh, I guess I have to color it. Never mind, we're not moving on. Bella's colors. Like I said earlier, technically they're green and red. I think I'm gonna go more pinkies and light green. You know, more pastel. Okay, here's how Bella's side of the place turned out. Honestly, the pink and green kind of looks good. I mean, I wouldn't live here, but... The next area of the house is the kitchen and dining room. I'm just gonna do those as one. And for this part, it's going to be Dennis Daly. D -d -d Dennis. We all love him. Um, when I was around him at RDC, he was actually like a giant. He was tall, so people aren't lying. So because he's so tall, I think I'm gonna use those like really tall cabinets, the really tall ones. They tried to put me on the cover of Vogue, but my legs were too long. Now for Dennis, I feel like we should go for a very modern theme. He's very blue, as you can tell. I also wanted to kind of look good with the rest of the house, though. How did I end up all the way over here? I love when you click off of Bloxburg and you just end up in another dimension. Hold on, these shades? This is screaming Dennis Daly. Okay, our final step is the most important part, which is adding Mr. Meows a lot. And he belongs on the dinner table, ready to be eaten. <laughs> Sir Meows a lot looks like he's seen too, too many rough days. Okay, this is good enough for now. I'm gonna move on upstairs to the bedroom, which belongs to Mr. Flamingo himself. Now, I know, I know. If you guys actually watch my videos, you would know that I already did a room based off of Flamingo, but I couldn't think of any other YouTubers, so we're doing it again. Now, the one thing I know about Flamingo is he lives in Florida. Um, <laughs> I'm not a stalker, I swear. Watch him not live in Florida and I look like an idiot. So I think I'm gonna make this room kind of pop palm tree theme to go with the flamingos everywhere. Can I even put a palm tree in here? I can. Hold on, hold on. Oh man, I can't make the palm tree really small, but I can make it thin. Oh dang. Put a TV on the wall so we can watch Flamingo YouTube videos all the time. There was a point in my life where I was watching Flamingo so much where I was going da ba da ba doo da ba da ba dee all the time. Yeah ba da ba doo, yeah ba da ba dee. I 
put some easy beauty skin moisturizer because Flamingo is just so beautiful. And let's put a case file right here so we can look into all the sketchy things Flamingo has done. All the cancelable moments are just sitting here. Honestly, I don't really know what I'm doing with this room. We're gonna add flamingos, but other than that, it's just kind of basic. Okay, I'm done messing with this room. It's good enough. Our final room is this tiny bathroom. Oh no, is that a flamingo butt sticking through the wall? Of course it is. Our final room is Creecraft, and his colors, like I said earlier, are green and red. So I'm not sure how this bathroom is gonna look good at all. Those colors. They're not it. Looking at his thumbnails, he wears a lot of red and usually has a green screen background. So that's why I coordinate him with those colors. I might just do a white base and then add a little bit of green and red as like decor. That way it's not too harsh to look at. You know, you don't want to pass out of overwhelmness while you're pooping looking at all these bright colors. I just did the iconic little box sink thing. I love doing this. You just take one of these floating sinks and then you place whatever you want under it. Also, let me know if you guys like it when I talk about what I'm building more or do you like it when I jump forward in the video and kind of show you the end results? I don't know if you guys are here for the progress of it or just like the final... I don't know, end goal. So please let me know in the comments. I'm genuinely curious. Uh <laughs> We're gonna cover up Flamingo's butt with this toilet paper. <laughs> Everything I'm saying in this video out of context would just sound so weird. Oh no, this is the hard part. I'm gonna try my best to make this look good. This is basically borderline red, but kind of brown. This is gonna look so bad. Oh God, I am not here for this at all. Ew, ew, ew! Oh my. Okay, okay. Oh god, it look it looks like vomit. It looks like vomit. I'm sorry, who invited Shrek to the bathroom? I've given up hope making this bathroom look good whatsoever. Oh my god. I'm so glad I left him with the smallest room. I'm actually done. I'm actually done. We're not even gonna mess with that. Let's just look at our final product and call it a day. So behind us, we look like we have a perfectly normal house, except when you enter inside. Oh man. Oh goodness, no. This is so bad. Look, I really like the layout of the house, but the color scheme just ruins the whole thing. <laughs> Poor serving house a lot. May you rest in peace. Moving on upstairs, we have the buoy wall. I think this is the only saving part of this house. Oh my goodness, Flamingo's room is giving me an eyesore. Please, save my eyeballs. I like it on its own, but yet again, the color scheme. It's obviously not very realistic. Our final... Can I just close my eyes? I'm not even gonna look at it. Okay, everyone, this is what the bathroom looks like. Let me know what your thoughts are because I don't even know what it looks like. I don't want to know. Well, obviously, this challenge was such a flop. I wanted to stick to the theme, but the theme is just so bad. Let me know if you'd like me to do this video again, but maybe next time with just YouTubers in general and not just Roblox YouTubers. That's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe for more, and I will see you all later. Bye, my beautiful Bubbles!